Hello everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, this is the last relationship related to association. Okay, which is uh, many to many. Okay, and when we do many to many, the only option we have is using join table, which we have extra table to uh, store the relationship between two other table entities. Okay, two other tables. So let's give one example. Um, let's using the person with the car in United States. Uh, per, uh, a person can have a multiple car and uh, for a car it can be owned by multiple per people which is in the title for the car you can have multiple people there uh, entity okay and here we can have an ID and a private long id and for a person we will have the first name and the last name okay and uh, that's it for now and we're gonna have another table which is the car okay and uh, still here we will add entity we, uh, you, uh, optionally you can add a setter those Setter, getter, those com uh, convenience method. And here we also have ID private long car ID. Okay. And for car, it has a string model, right? And the private is just add another one color. Which color of the car do you like? And the people say if you drive the red color car they think the people is a little bit aggressive <laughs> do you think of the same and now suppose we have a many to many relationship a person can have many car and a car can be owned by uh, multiple people okay so here we have a collection of car okay and a car here cars okay uh, let's add the and home add a private and uh, in the car we will uh, sorry uh, first we show the unidirection okay first we using unidirectional which is a person has uh, an association with the collection of car but a car has no idea about a person to do many to many you add a uh, many to many here that's all and by default it's gonna create a join table so if we run application now you we will see three table person many uh, car and a person car okay so let's run and the things here we using uh, uh this here i don't know using generated value so th only three table so if i add a, a generated value it's gonna be four gonna have extra table for the hibernate sequence okay i want to stop i want to drop all the tables first then i want to stop okay i want to stop because here have some uh, tables existing before i want to drop them so make sure all the tables are actually created by our uh, the code okay run one more time <sighs> it's a long day okay that's it and now let's go to our database refresh you will see three table and the first is a car has id color model second is a person we have id first name last name and the last one is the person and the car and uh, the first uh, uh, it has two foreign key right combined to be the what's thing combined to be the primary key person id which is uh, 
person, the class name, underscore this ID. And for the car, it's going to use in this variable name, cars and this uh, ID. You can see here. Oh, sorry. Person, class name, underscore ID, cars, this is a variable name, the collection variable name, underscore ID. And uh, you can, you are always welcome to customize these two columns and also for this table name. The table name by default is gonna be the two uh, class, two entity name because, uh, what's the, uh, no, two entity name. If you customize using annotation table, it's gonna be the two table name and add the underscore. And in uh, MySQL, it's not case sensitive. So you will see all lower case uh, for the table name. And we can customize them. Okay, and it's recommended to customize because you don't know what's gonna be generated, right? Uh, join table. And you can give a name which is suppose I call person car, okay, which is same, default you're gonna do, uh, and uh, we can have a join column, and here we were using join column, okay, to customize the first one, yes, the PID, which is a person's ID, and next one, which is inverse join column, and second one is the join column, the name is the car ID. Okay. It's, uh, let's make it like this way. Okay. Like this. Okay. So when we run one more time, you will see the table name remains unchanged, but the column names is changed. Okay, good. And uh, let's go back and uh, run this one again. You will see the two ID is changed. Okay, so that's the usage of a join table. And uh, this is a unidirectional, right? How about bidirectional? I think you already know how to do that if you watched my other video, okay? Private, here have a collection of a person, okay? And here we can use in people, okay. And uh, we still using many to many relationship here. But if we do like this way, what's gonna happen? Is it gonna have a two join table? So how to solve the problem? Two join table means two unidirectional instead of one bidirectional relationship. And to solve this problem, use what? Mapped by, yes, mapped by. So first I will run and show you how many tables is generated. Okay, four, you can see here. One table, two table, three table, four table. See here. Refresh, one, two, three, four. And this is the, the uh, let's close, oh, okay. Car, all the fields about the car, and you will have a person, which is the person entity. And here we have two join table, like a car ID, person ID. This this one, this car person is created because of this many to many, okay, this side. And we have the last one is a person car. This one is created on the person side, we have many to many. So in this case, we have two join table and the data might be inconsistent, consistent, so it might cause uh, uh, issues okay so don't do that we in the database only leave one place to hold the relationship if you have multiple your data definitely in the at the end it will be inconsistent so how to solve the problem you can ma add mapped by here you can add the mapped by here let's just add the mapped by here and what's the value here using the cars so in this case, it will only generate a table person car. It won't generate a table on the car side, the join table. So this is for the bi-directional relationship in many to many. 
and in the many-to-many -many relationship, that's the one thing. Suppose this person and a car, this is our joint table, right? If we want to add extra information in this joint table, you might reconsider to convert your many-to-many -many relationship into two one-to-many relationship. So you can have a joint table, this one, and can store extra information, like a student with a course. Uh, how should we store the grade for the student? Because the grade gonna associate with a particular student and the grade should also associate with a particular course, right? So in this case, we have to store extra information in the student course table, which is the grade. So in this case, it's better to turn student and the course, the many to many relationship into two one to many relationship so you can store grade in the join table okay uh, that's it for this video talking about many to many unidirectional and bidirectional relationship hope you like this video and thank you for watching see you next time bye bye